Another Day, Another Book Review, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, A Dark and Gripping Prequel, Book Review. Welcome back, fellow book lovers. In today's video, we'll be diving into the world of Panem and exploring a novel that takes us back in time to unveil the origin of a beloved character. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. If you're a Hunger Games fan, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a thrilling journey. Published in 2020, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is a prequel to the internationally acclaimed Hunger Games trilogy. In this book, we're transported 64 years before the events of the original series, delving deep into the life of a young Coriolanus Snow. The story takes place during the 10th Hunger Games, and we see Snow as an ambitious, charming, and highly intelligent 18-year-old student. He's assigned as a mentor to a girl from District 12 named Lucy Gray Baird, the female tribute for this year's games. As the story unfolds, we're shown the struggles of post-war Panem, and how the capital tries to rebuild itself. Through Snow's perspective, we experience the early days of the Hunger Games and witness the cruel and manipulative strategies the capital employs to maintain control. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes focuses on the theme of power, ambition, and morality. We observe how Snow's ambition, coupled with the oppressive environment of the capital, shapes him into the ruthless leader we encounter in the original trilogy. Suzanne Collins masterfully crafts a gripping and dark narrative, exploring the human psyche and the roots of evil. The novel showcases how the desire for power can corrupt and manipulate even the most promising individuals. Additionally, Collins provides readers with the backstory of the Hunger Games creation and the origins of its traditions. Through this, we gain a deeper understanding of the dystopian world of Panem. The character development of Coriolanus Snow is one of the most compelling aspects of this book. We see his vulnerabilities and internal conflicts, which add depth and complexity to his character. The relationship between Snow and Lucy Gray Baird is also beautifully crafted, revealing the intricacies of love, loyalty, and betrayal. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes has received mixed reviews from fans and critics alike. Some readers have praised the novel for its rich world-building and character development, while others were disappointed with the pacing and the choice to focus on Snow as the protagonist. In my opinion, the book is a captivating and thought-provoking read. Although it may not appeal to everyone, it's undoubtedly an essential addition to the Hunger Games universe, providing valuable insight into the early days of Panem and the complexities of its characters. So, there you have it. A brief but enticing look into the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. If you're a fan of the original series or simply enjoy dark, psychological tales that explore the depths of human nature, this book is definitely worth checking out. As always, thank you for joining me in today's review. If you've read the book, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more book reviews and literary discussions. Until next time, happy reading. Before we wrap up, let's take a quick moment to appreciate Suzanne Collins' extraordinary storytelling. With the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, she once again demonstrates her ability to create vivid, immersive worlds filled with complex characters and thought-provoking themes. 
If you're interested in exploring more of her work, don't forget to check out the original Hunger Games trilogy, as well as her other novels such as the Gregor the Overlander series. In our next video, we'll be diving into another exciting and highly anticipated book. Stay tuned, and make sure you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss out on the next review. Remember, the world of literature has so much to offer, and our journey has only just begun. So grab a book, get comfortable, and let's continue to explore the wonders of the written word together.